I want to actually show you and talk you through one of the most amazing videos I think I've ever seen on the web to date. This video essentially is going to start off looking at the Andromeda galaxy in the sky and then what we do using stunning resolution through the Hubble Space Telescope peer for the first time into the heart of a galaxy. So sit back and relax and get ready to go on the ride of a lifetime. Well this is what the Andromeda galaxy would look like and if we get up nice and close and personal with Tony Hollis's and this Hubble Space Telescope team's image of Andromeda we see it in all its beauty. So the red box outlines a section of what we're going to have a look at and this is a journey folks as I said like you've probably never had before and it's about resolution. Look at how many pixels are in this image. 1.5 billion pixel image of the Andromeda galaxy is going to give us a startling glimpse of the sheer scale of this amazing object. And as we get further and further in, what we start to see is structure. Firstly, notice there are largest field stars that have been caught in between the Milky Way and this galaxy that we've imaged. And this, in this annotated cutout, we can see what we're looking at. We can see there are Milky Way stars that have been just quite literally caught in the foreground. And of course, there are the dust lanes and there are even clusters of stars. They are the stellar clusters, things like globular clusters, for example, and even star forming regions. But what I want to really draw your attention to is, of course, these background spiral galaxies. Can you see them up to the right at around 1 p.m.? You see two background spiral galaxies. So, folks, what this is, is the Hubble Space Telescope has taken this amazing image of the galaxy but it peers through the galaxy and it can actually see two galaxies that lay way, way beyond that. Many hundreds of millions of light years, we pick up these two background spiral galaxies. Isn't that just absolutely amazing? We also say some dust lanes, so all the dust and gas that's necessary for building new stars as we looked at earlier is present in this galaxy in abundance. So as we get closer and closer in, we were able to start to resolve more and more detail and more and more stars on smaller and smaller scales. It's this realization that hooks me into astronomy. And this is why I'm not a Brickie anymore. <laughs> so what I mean is, take a good look at every single point of light on that image, because every single point of light is a sun just like our own. Some will be bigger and some will be smaller. Some will be hotter, some will be cooler. But essentially they're stars. And our sun is a star also. What we now realize through modern research is that over 95% of these stars have planetary systems, have solar systems. That's just spine tingling. So think for a second of those planets. Think of the morphology of them, the geography, the geology, and think even maybe about the life on some of these worlds. There is enough science in the Andromeda galaxy to keep every school kid interested and hooked into what really matters from now until the end of time itself. I hope whilst you're watching this video, you'll sit your kids down and let them see the grand enormity of what we're actually part of and how amazing it is to be part of this journey and how wonderful it is to be living at a time when we can utilize our research astronomers and our engineers to produce amazing footage like this so we can get a better idea of our place in the universe. So as we end our journey into the Andromeda galaxy and we, we start to zoom out, I don't think many of us will ever forget that journey, probably the best one you'll ever take. And as it zooms back out into the sky and we see the Andromeda galaxy hidden amongst the star fields of our Milky Way, amongst the stars and constellations where it will remain for the next 4 billion years,